Hello. Hello, Steven. How are you? Hello, hello. Hello, Catherine. Hello, teacher. Yeah. It's a pleasure to have you here, Mr. Stephen, Miss Letty, Antonio, Catherine. It is good to have you here. Good. How was your day, people? How was your day? Was it good? Bad? Excellent? So so good. It was good. Okay. What did you do? Did you work? Trabajaron ahora todo el día. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Today it's a very hot day. You see. Oh my God. I'm sweating today. It's a, it's very hot. I don't know if it's only my house, right? No sé si solo mi casa o todas las casas del mundo. Pero está caliente. What about in your house? ¿Qué tal sus casas? No es solo la mía. Todos, estos, todos ustedes también están ahí con calor. Okay, good. So let's start today. We are going to do a little practice. We are going to work. We are going to work a little bit on the different sentences that we have studied. We are going to practice what we have been doing, right? And we are going to complete unit number one, okay? We're also going to work on the platform. And I hope that you have solved the problems in the platform, right? Espero que hayan solventado las dificultades para entrar a la plataforma, chicos. Si alguien todavía tiene dificultades para entrar, um, avísenme para poderles apoyar en eso porque es muy importante que avancen. Ya para este momento ya tienen que haber terminado su sección uno de la plataforma, la dos, ya tiene que estar iniciada. Así que porfa, para evitar que se atrasen, sí es bien importante que hagamos en la plataforma. Okay, so we are going to work on that today. And we are going to finish working on the platform as well. So I hope that you had the chance to practice. Espero que hayan tenido al menos una oportunidad chiquitilla de trabajar, de practicar este día porque siempre es importante que dejen un ratito para práctica. Okay, let's start. We are going to work on the platform, right? And so I am going to open the platform and the attendance. And for sure, I am going to open my presentation. What did we study yesterday, people? What do you remember from yesterday's class? ¿Qué recuerdan de la clase del día de ayer? A ver. What do you remember from yesterday's class? What did we study? ¿Qué estudiamos ayer? El an y el an. Aha, a and an, exactly like that. And how do you use a and an? Can you give me examples on how do you use it? How do you use a and an? Give me examples. Give me one example of a and an. 
Y no tiene cómo pagarle eso porque le tiró su cuenta también. Ajá. A book. A book. Ajá. An ant. Ajá. An apple. An apple. Good. A kit. Kate. Okay, a kite, right? A kite. A kite. A kite. Very good. So we were studying a and an, and we were creating different sentences. What is the difference between a and an? When do you use it? When do you use a and when do you use an? ¿Cuándo las usamos? A, um, uh -huh. an. Ajá. An? Uh, okay, A is for consonant and an for vowels. Okay, so we use A for consonants and an for vowels. Very good. So that's basically what we do with this uh, part of grammar, right? We use it to uh, specify when something is singular and when something is singular and begins with consonant, and when something is singular and begins with vowel. Okay, good. I need you to give me one complete sentence using a or an. No solo el, por ejemplo, a bottle, a tomato. A complete sentence using a or an. Una oración completa usando a or an. Ayer hicimos un montón de oraciones. ¿Ah? Leti. Um, uh, it is an apple. It is an apple. Very good. It is an apple. Good. Another um, example. It is a book. It is a book. Excellent. Someone else who can give me an example. Thank you, Leti. Very good job. Excelente trabajo, Leti. Me gusta. Other examples? Cristiano Ronaldo, it is a soccer player. Cristiano Ronaldo is a soccer player. Ok, vamos a agarrar su oración de ejemplo para la corrección. And it's good. Eso estaba esperando que saliera a bailar. Here we go. Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo, it is a soccer player. ¿Cuál es el problema aquí? It is. it is. ¿Por qué? Porque es para objetos y cosas. Ajá, porque es para objetos y cosas. Pero ¿qué pasa en este caso? Tenemos Cristiano Ronaldo, it is. Tenemos doble qué. Doble qué. Doble verbo, doble sujeto. Doble sujeto. Tenemos doble sujeto porque aquí tenemos Cristiano Ronaldo que es he and it. It, that, que es para objetos y cosas, right? En este caso tenemos que tener solo un sujeto. Cristiano Ronaldo is a soccer player, okay? And in this case, for example, if we say Shakira, sorry, sorry. Shakira, Shakira, yes, is an artist, okay? And you can say, She is an artist, okay? Shakira is an artist. She is an artist. You have the two forms. In the second one, we are substituting the subject, right? Aquí estamos sustituyendo el sujeto por, eh, aquí no decimos Shakira. Shakira is an artist. She is an artist, okay? We also have, for example, here, The use of a and an, okay? In this case, Shakira is an artist. You can say, my brother is a mechanic, okay? Y ahí tenemos el uso de a y an con la profesión, okay? Another thing. So, good example. So, remember, Jose, no double subject, only one. Hagámosle la corrección ahí a la oración. Good job. So, let's continue right here. I am going to stop sharing. 
Another example. Deme otra oración de ejemplo. Otro ejemplo. Vamos a ver. Solo uno, solo uno. Solo un ejemplo. Ok. Eh, this is uh -huh. a glass. This is a glass, right? This is a glass, and you show the glass, right? Tati, what is your example? This is a glass. Very good. My sister is an architect. Okay, my sister, you say. Yeah, my sister is an architect. Very good. The use of an and the sentence with a profession, right? So that's a very good example, right? It is a very good example, and we know how to use it. If I show you this one, for example, what would be the sentence? Uh -huh. it, it is a book. It is a book, right? It is a book. What about this one? It is a bottle. It is, it, it is a bottle, right? It is a bottle. And for sure, if I have another one right here. It is a for you to take notes. Notebook. It's a notebook. It is a notebook. Right? It is a notebook. Very good. So there you have the examples of the different sentences. Let's start today, and I'm going to share my screen with all of you. It's right here. Today we are going to work a little bit on the uh, possessive adjectives, okay? We have started, we have started the pronouns, right? We have studied the nouns, we have studied the subject, but for example, Let's go back to the to the presentation right here. If we have examples with, um, let's use she. She is, I'm going to say Tati, okay? She is Tati. And you say, uh, her name is Tati. What is the difference between these two sentences? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre esas dos frases? What is the difference? Uh -huh. que en una en una creo yo que se menciona ella es ella es Tati y en uh -huh. la otra es su nombre es Tati. Exactly like that. So in this case we have su su de ella is her. Si estamos hablando de un hombre decimos he is I will use Antonio. He is Antonio. How would you say su nombre es Antonio? You say his name is Antonio. His name is Antonio. And there you have it. Okay. So in this case, we have his. His means su de él. Okay. Su nombre de un hombre. Right? His name is Antonio. If we say, for example, with I, I am Natty, you use it for you and you say, my name is Natty. Okay. There you have, my name is Natty. This is uh, mi nombre, right? Mi nombre is Natty. I am Natty. My name is Natty. Can you give me one example with one member of your house? Alguien que esté en su casa. Utilice el mismo ejemplo. Si es mujer, she is. Si es hombre, he is. Con alguien que esté en su casa. Ajá. Use the example. 
Ah, no, te lo hay. Alejandro. Ajá. And what is the counterpart? He is Alejandro. His name. His name is Alejandro. Okay, he is Alejandro. His name is Alejandro. Good, very good. Another example. Alguien más. Jasmine. Ajá, uh -huh. she is Jasmine. Her name is Jasmine. Excellent, she is Jasmine. Her name is Jasmine. Good. Give me another example with people from your house. Is Maria. Uh -huh. Her name is Maria. Her name, right? Her name. Her name, her name is Maria. Excellent. Another example. She is Osvaldo. Her name is Osvaldo. Okay. He is Osvaldo. He. ¿Cuál es el, el pronombre para he? His, 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 porque si me his. dice, si me dice, he is Osvaldo, her name is Osvaldo, it would be like, what? <laughs> okay, bueno, a, a menos que se llame Osvaldo María, y es eh, niña, no sabemos. <laughs> he is Osvaldo, his name is Osvaldo, okay, good, another example. He is Kevin. And? His name. His name is Kevin. Excellent. Very good. He is Kevin. His name is Kevin. Okay. Joanita. Luz. Uh, she is Marina. Uh, her name is Marina. Very good job. Steven, give me another example. She is Irma. Uh -huh, she her is name. Irma. Uh -huh. Her name is Irma. Excellent. Mr. Steen. Uh -huh. Seneida. Okay. Christian, give me another example. Uh, it is a lucky. <laughs> it is lucky. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It, it is my lucky. Okay. Show Lucky. <laughs> Muéstrenos a Lucky. Uh, <laughs> it is Lucky. lucky. <laughs> ah, okay. It is Lucky. Its name, uh -huh. right? Its, its name. name. Con, los, con los animales ocupamos its. And you say? Its name. Its name uh, it's Lucky. It's Lucky. Uh. Its name is Lucky. Okay. Very good. With the animals, we use it. So that's the reference, right? That's how we use it. Right? That's how we use in this case. And for example, I am going to show my presentation to give you more details about what we are going to do today. Okay? We're going to start by sharing the phrase of the day. ¿Cuál es la frase del día? A ver. What is the phrase of the day? Was selling in the secret. Uh, com compelling. Compelling, uh huh. Future. Future, right? Thank you, Antonio. Nice. It is Tom from Robbins. Tom Robbins, right? Gold setting. Gold setting is the secret to a compelling future. Say, gold setting is the secret to a compelling future. It says like, if you set goals, your future is going to be established, okay? ¿Cómo van a ser un futuro establecido? Poniéndose metas, right? Y alcanzándolas, right? Goal settings. Porque no se pongan solo la meta, también alcancen. Y de ahí póngala más arriba, y más arriba, y más arriba. Y ahí lo va a ir logrando. Goal setting is the secret to a compelling future. Practice with me. Goal setting is the secret to a compelling future. Goal setting, Goal setting, Goal setting is the secret to a compelling future. Goal setting is the secret to a compelling future. 
painting was is the secret to a compelling future 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 how do you spell compelling uh, c o m p e l l i n g g very good job how do you spell setting S E T T I N G I N G right I I I E no I N G. What? How do you spell Robbins? Robbins. R R O B B I N S. I N S, right? Robbins. How do you spell future? F U T R E. Okay, and how do you spell gold? G O A L. -L. Okay, G O L A L. Gold setting is the secret to a compelling future. So remember, if you set a goal, Reach it, ok, si se pone una meta alcancen, porque esa es la parte más importante del éxito, ok so, we are going to work on today on the warm up, right, the agenda, the possessive nouns, the grammar speaking and writing we are going to ok, we are going to start, here we have different feelings Different feelings. ¿Saben qué significan feelings? Sentimientos, right? What is the first one that you have there? Happy. 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 Show me your happy face. ¿Cómo ponen su cara cuando están contentos? <laughs> Mañana hay vacation. Vacation, right? Si le digo... Se equivocaron y mañana pagan otra vez. Ah, that's your happy face, right? Ya vi. Se mueven con dinero, ya lo vi. That's your happy face, right? Fíjate que te voy a dar un bono mañana. Really? Yeah. Yeah, for sure, right? Ay, gracias, muy amable. Right? Por fuera. Ah, muchas gracias, qué lindo. Y por dentro. Bueno. Definitely. Mañana vamos a pedir pollo campero para el almuerzo. <laughs> you get very happy. Do you like pollo campero, people? No. No. Yes. yes. Leticia, yes, yes, you no. don't like you, you don't like pollo campero. And don pollo. Don pollo is the same pollo campero. <laughs> the same. Okay. Do you like pupusas? Yes, like, yes, yes, yes for like sure, more. right? That's your happy face, right? Yay! The next one, what is the feeling? The next feeling? Frustrated. 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 What is your frustration face? ¿Cuál es su cara de frustración? La mía es así. What is your frustration face? A ver, muéstrenme. Lo veo a todo en cámara. A ver, ¿cuál es su cara de frustración? Allá venía la coster y usted haciéndole la mejor parada del mundo. Y lo dejó en visto. Frustrated, right? Y de ahí la otra viene llena y no se puede subir y le toca irse en la puerta. That's frustration, right? Frustrated, frustrated. I love Jose's frustration face. <laughs> Frustration. The next one, proud. Proud is orgulloso. Orgulloso. Que no cabe. Cuando la teacher le dice, very good pronunciation. Proud. You feel proud. Llega el asesor y le dice, lograste las métricas, te llevaste el bono. Proud. What is your proud face? What is your proud face? ¿Cómo es su cara de orgullo? Vamos a ver. De orgullo, de, de alegría. 
Porque en El Salvador sí. tenemos otro orgullo, ¿verdad? El orgullito, ¿verdad? Esa es mi otra cara de orgullito. El orgullito, ¿verdad? There you go. Confident. Confident is when you trust yourself. ¿Okay? Cuando usted confía en sí mismo, que hay bye, y eso le va a salir excelente. Confident. That's the meaning of confident. The next one, indifferent. Indifferent. Su cara de indiferencia, a ver. Okay. Usted llevó yuca frita para el almuerzo y le dicen, ay, es que la de la tía es más rica. No comas, pa. <ríe> Morite, vieja. <ríe> no, 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 no la toques, no la toques. La de la tía es más rica. <ríe> That's indifferent. It's like, <ríe> indifferent. The next one is determined. Determine is when you want to do something and you are going to do it. Cuando quieres algo y lo vas a lograr. That's determined. The next one, disappointed. Hmm. Disappointed. Ah. Le habían dicho que hoy van a pagar. Fuiste al cajero. Metiste tu clave. No había depósito. Disappointed. Like, man. Anyway, disappointed, like, decepcionado. Dice tu mejor amigo con otro mejor amigo suyo. Disappointed. Like, mm, mm. Oh, bueno. I cousins. <laughs> okay, that's disappointed. Thoughtful. How do you look when you are thoughtful? Pensativo. ¿Cuál es su cara pensativa? A ver. Thoughtful. Hmm. Mira, Leticia Ortiz tiene el, el, el look pensativo. Ok, Cristian. Voy a comer pan o tortilla o las dos. No sé. <ríe> Soy your tato, right? Una pupusa o dos. O dos y una de queso. Thoughtful. Right? That's the meaning of thoughtful. Surprise. Surprise. Ok, chicos, agarren una página. Vamos a hacer examen ahorita. Surprise, Antonio is like, what? <laughs> surprise, right? That's your surprise face. Sorprendido, suspendido, right? Ay, sorry. Surprise. Sí, sí. Asustado, sorprendido. Optimistic, it's like nice. Me siento optimistic. Me siento optimista. Me siento muy seguro de lo que viene. Annoyed. Annoyed is molesto, pero molesto, por ejemplo, cuando tenías a tu hermano a la par que no te quita el control, vea. Sí, dámelo. Dámelo, dámelo, dámelo. Mamá. Annoyed. It's like, ay, ay, cállate, mamá. That's annoyed. Right? Molesto, pero molesto de incómodo. ¿Ok? Cuando usted ve en el bus y quiere dormir y el de la par quiere platicar. <laughs> annoyed. It's like, shh, guys, simple. Then you're like, falling on the bus and then the person next to you wants to talk, right? Or, yo me siento annoyed cuando el de a la par se va durmiendo encima de mí. And it's like, and I'm like <laughs> moving the person, right? That's annoyed. And the last feeling is pessimistic. What is the meaning of pessimistic? It's exactly the same as in Spanish, right? Pessimistic. So like, hey, salgamos a correr. Ay, no, hay que correr. Ay, que... Okay. Ah, mucho sudado, no, ay, no. y si sudo, ay, se me arruina la camisa, no, no tengo otra camisa, ay, solo está, no, that's pessimistic, anything is bad, okay, everything is bad for them, and they are like, ay, no, maybe later, no, ay, no, es que el inglés es muy inglés, ay, no, es que la teacher Nati, no, she speaks English, that's pessimistic, right, how do you feel today, people, choose one of the sentences. I am, and you give me the adjective. I am feeling what? I am feeling optimistic today. What about you? Ilse, dime. I am feeling Ilse Marlene. I am feeling happy. I am feeling happy. Jose Reyes. I am feeling happy. I am feeling happy. Tati? 
I am feeling frustrated. Frustrated. Why? No es mi culpa, no es mi culpa. Katherine, how do you feel? I am feeling happy. I am feeling happy. Katherine Solorzano? Feeling indifferent. Indifferent, me, right. Me. Antonio? Optimist. I am feeling? I am feeling optimistic. Optimistic, optimistic. optimistic. Joanna? I am feeling confident. I am feeling confident. Leticia Ortiz? I am feeling happy. I am feeling happy. Edwin? The microphone. No te oigo. No te oigo. Un misterio. He is feeling mysterious. No te oímos. No. Y todo. I am feeling. Y todo aquí es un misterio. ¿Cómo se siente este hoy? Ahora. I know. I can listen to you. Yes. Um, I am feeling indifferent. Indifferent. Well, frustrated because of the audio. Okay, good. Hey, Christian Ramos. Christian, how do you feel? I am feeling optimistic. 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 Leticia Gonzalez. I am feeling confident. Confident. Luz. I am feeling happy. I am feeling happy. Alba Dalina. I am feeling happy, right? I am feeling happy. Practice with me. Happy. 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 Frustrated. Happy. Frustrated. 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 Proud. 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 Confident. Confident. Indifferent. 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 Determined. Determined. Disappointed. Disappointed. Thoughtful. Thoughtful. Surprise. 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 Optimistic. Optimistic. Annoyed. Annoyed. Pessimistic. Pessimistic. Pessimistic, good, very good. Pessimistic. pessimistic, right? So here we have, what is the mistake on the sentence? What is the mistake on the sentence? What is the mistake on sentence number one? My boss, um... My boss is... Okay, so you say my boss, it's not are, it's is. My boss is mm. friendly, right? You don't use are. Marcos and Sandra uh. are, right? It's not is, in this case, it's are. They are creative. What about the next one? They are not thirsty. Yeah. I fix it. Se los arregla, ¿entendés? Wait, wait, wait. Ahí está. Oh, what is the mistake with number three? Ustedes no vieron nada, ¿ok? Number three, what is the mistake? The apostrophe. They are, the apostrophe. Hey. Yo vea, inconscientemente arreglando el error. They are not thirsty. What about the last one? Oh. Are you... Are you, uh, right? Are you angry? Uh, now, the question is, people, are you angry? Son enojados usted? Are you angry? No. No. Más o menos. Un poquito. Esos son los que más afligen. Los que me dicen, poquito. Más o menos. 
Carmen. Ajá. ¿Quién aquí no es enojado? Que usted diga, yo no soy enojado. Steven, no. José Reyes. José Reyes no es enojado. No. No, no es robó. Okay. Ilse. Yo sí. <laughs> Very honest, right? Ilse is very honest. Yes, teacher, I am. Tatiana, tú. Tatiana Galea. Eh, un poco. <laughs> a little bit. Ajá, a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catherine Solorza. Ajá. <laughs> no. 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 No, un poquito. <risa> Esos son, eso son los más peligrosos. <risa> ok, protéeme, señor, que te piden. <risa> Antonio José. No. No. Leticia Ortiz. A veces. <risa> sometimes, you say, sometimes, depending. So, Edwin, I know that he looks very, very nice and calm. Catherine Elizabeth. Yes. <laughs> sí, la, la, le veo, le veo. Joana. Solo cuando me estreso. <laughs> oh, ok. El 80% del día. <laughs> Christian, uh -huh. says, Christian says, a little bit. A little bit. Uh -huh. Christian. Vamos no, a preguntar a los de la casa. <laughs> y todos los de la casa. Mentira, dice, sí, mentira. <risa> Leticia. No, quizás quizá es un bien, bien raro de que tal vez en el trabajo me eh, tengo bastante paciencia, pero ya fuera, pues. <risa> 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 no. A las 4.34. <risa> Chaval, ya de ir. Ok. Todo lo que he guardado en el día. <risa> like Goku, right? Ok, ajá, Leticia González y se ríe, miren, Leticia se ríe porque sabe. Ajá. No, yo sí, yo soy enojada. Ok, ¿Y yo sí niños? no voy a negarlo. Y los niños atrás. Por fin lo aceptó. Luz, what about you? Luz, are you angry? Yo sí. Yo sí, y el esposo la pasa. Sí. <risa> Ayuda a <risa> te van Ayuda. Ok, Gluz, very good. Alma Dalila. Um, <risa> la duda. Soy un amor, pero si se trata de hacerme enojar, uff, exploto. Uh, you know, I, I never, I never get angry. Okay. I never get angry. I am always happy because. When I get angry, ja, it's like Dalila, right? Yo soy un amor, soy un, todo, un amor. Es raro, raro, raro que me enoje. No me gusta enojar. Eh, sí, rarísimo que me hagan enojar. Tengo yeah. bastante paciencia. Yeah, me too. Right? Yeah, I am a, I am a, a love, a love. I, I am very patient, right? Yo soy bien paciente. Creo que es una habilidad docente. I am very happy, very patient, so. That's that's good. Thank you for sharing a little bit of your life with me. Okay, here we have a little bit of vocabulary as well, as you can see right here. We have the hand in a bottle. So the name of this one is bottle of water. When you hold it, these are your fingers, okay? This is your hand. This is your hand. And we also have the arm, right? This is your arm, the arm your hand, your fingers, and the bottle, okay? Remember to have your bottle of water with you, okay? Para todas las clases, siempre tengan su agüita a la par. Es muy importante que se hidrate, okay? ¿Quién tiene agua a la par? Veamos. Show me your bottle of water. Nadie, nadie toma agua. La generación de la Coca-Cola. Café tengo. Café. Ah, okay, you have water. Very good. Okay, drink water. Y no That's good. Agua ahora. Okay, good, good. You have to drink water, right? You have to drink water. Antonio, in your bottle of water? Me ha caído desde la mañana. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so sad. Oh, my God. Ay, no. Señor Jesús, manda agua ahí, por favor. Entonces, Antonio. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, as I told you before, we are going to study the possessive adjectives with my, his, her, their, your, its, and his. Okay, these are the possessive adjectives. It's, her, his, our, mine, their, and your. Possessive adjectives. ¿Por qué dicen adjetivos de posesión? ¿Por qué? Porque significa que algo es de alguien. And you say, my name, your name, your house, your television, right? Es el que de quién, okay? That's possessive, okay? Imagine if I show you a cell phone. It's like, who's this cell phone? Ah, it's Natis, right? That is my cell phone. Me pertenece a mí. Por eso se llaman adjetivos posesivos, okay? My cell phone, my house, my computer, my mouse, okay? Things that are yours, okay? Si yo te hubiera prestado un libro, por ejemplo, me vas a decir, teacher, this is your book. This is your book because it belongs to me, right? Yo te lo presté, pero me pertenece a mí. This is your book, okay? For example, if you say something that is from your mother, algo que es de tu mamá, puedes agarrar, por ejemplo, eh, oh, bueno, una, la botella, right? This is her bottle. Es la botella de ella. Her bottle, right? This is... Esto es de mi hijo. Entonces, ese es his calculator, right? His calculator. Es su calculadora. Es suya. ¿De quién? De él, de mi hijo, right? It's his calculator. And how do you make the use? For I, ¿qué usamos para I? My. Okay. For I, you use my. For he, his. 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 <coughs> For she? Her. 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 For it? It's. it's. For you? Your. Your. For we? Our. Our. And for they? They. They. Okay. Muéstrame algo que es suyo. I will show you my pen. This is my pen. My pen. Show me something that is yours. Muéstrame algo suyo. My, my notebook. Very good. Another one. This is my a book. No, okay. My book. So you say my, my book. book. Very good. Uh-huh. Show me something that is yours. My laptop. My laptop. Good. Show me something that is yours. My my earphones. My earphones, right? My earphones. What is another one? Give me another object. My my what? My shoes, my table, my house. No. My what? Give me what? 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 Muestren me cosas. My. My what? My watch. My doll. Miren, Catherine, nos estamos trayendo muñequita ahí. My doll. My watch. Uh huh. This is my cup. My glass. My cup. My glass. Esa es cup, Antonio. Cup. Ah, my cup. My cup. Okay, my cup. Teacher, how do you say almohada? Pillow. My pillow. My pillow. My pillow. Okay. Show me something that is yours. This is my dog. <laughs> my dog, right? She is another classmate. It is a big dog, right? Say hello to your friends. Hello. How are you? <laughs> this is my dog. Okay. Yeah. That's un gran What is its name? Kiara. So, soy famosa, madre. Yeah. <laughs> She's an English student, right? 
Ella se sabe cada clase de inglés. Aquí pasa con usted. So, this is my dog, right? Very good. That is the example, right, of the different things that belong to you. Okay, my dog, you say. Good. So, something that belongs to one member of your family. Something that belongs to one member of your family. Cojan algo que es de un miembro de su familia. Y me dice, his notebook. Ajá. Escojan algo que no sea suyo, que sea de algún miembro de su familia. Uh -huh. His book. His book, his pencil. Uh -huh. his, uh, his, his what? His cell phone. His cell phone. His cell phone. Bueno, este es el momento, mire. Agarra, agarra a su esposo y le dice, dame el teléfono que la teacher dice que lo tenemos que enseñar. It's his cell phone, right? His, his what card? Oh, car, his car. Okay. Pidiéndole la tarjeta de débito a la esposa. Her card. So there you go. Something that belongs to someone else. His wallet. <laughs> okay, that that's good. That's a good one, right? Her television. Her television. Very good. Her television. Ahí es cuando nos referimos a her what? Her scissor. Her scissor. Okay, good. Very good. This is when we refer to someone else, right? Someone else that is not you, right? We use his or her. So let's move into the example. I have here one. En este caso sería, it is my bag or it's my bag. What is correct? Mm -hmm. It is my bag or it's my bag. Or both. both, right? But in this case, yeah. we're going to use it like that, right? So you say, it is my bag, que es mi cartera, or it's my bag. So we have both. Both are yeah. correct. It is your watch. It is your watch. Or it's your watch. In this case, both of them as well are correct. What about oh. this one? It is his book. It is his book, right? Or it's his book. And here we have both, right? It is his book or it's his book. In this case, we have it, right? It's her car or it's her car, right? We have both. Aquí lo único que hacemos es contractarlo, right? Aquí estamos contractándolo, right? It is her car. It's it her is, car. It is her car. Y después se dice it is. Okay. It is her car. It is her car or it's her car. It's her car. It is. Yeah, it is. Okay, vamos con esta. It is their house or it's their house. It's their house. And we have, in both cases, are the sentences correct but contracted. So, here we go. Okay. Okay. Que no se nos olvide lo que les enseñé. The next one, for the possessive adjectives. So you say, the possessive nouns, so you say, our teacher's name, Pedro's address, Melissa and Dora's last name. I want to explain this one a little bit more. Wait, 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 wait. Se lo voy a mostrar aquí. So here we go. In this case, so we say, our teacher's name. ¿Cuál es la diferencia aquí? Este es otro tipo de posesivos. And we say, for example, let me show you here. And I will say, for example, this one. My mother's car. ¿Cuál es este 
tipo de posesivo. ¿A qué se refiere? Si yo le digo, my mother's car. ¿Cuál sería la diferencia? De... Ajá. Como de propiedad. Exactly, right. ¿De quién es el carro? De mi mamá. De mi mamá, right? De my mother. My mother's car. Okay. In this case, you have the possessive here. My mother's car. And we can also say bigger sentences. For example, you say, my father's house is big. Okay. Y aquí nos damos cuenta que esta apóstrofe no es el verbo to be. Esta apóstrofe significa la posesión. que ¿De quién es lo que sigue en la oración? My father's house. Es la casa de mi papá. Okay. ¿Y cómo es la casa? Aquí tenemos el verbo to be. My father's house is big. Okay. En este caso tenemos el verbo to be aquí. My father's house is big. Okay. My mother's car, you can say, is new. Okay. And here you have another form. Okay. Este es un poquito más avanzado, lo vamos a ir viendo un poquito más adelante, pero eh, por si lo ven de repente en alguna oración, en algún párrafo o algo, cuando tenemos el apóstrofe S después del sujeto y seguido del objeto, es da quién pertenece ese objeto. Right? My father's house. Es la casa de mi papá. My mother's car es el carro de mi papá. Okay. If I say, for example, my teacher's birthday, birthday is uh, in September. Okay. So, ¿de quién es el cumpleaños? My teacher. My teacher's, right? My teacher's birthday, okay? This is another form of possession, right? This is another form of possession. And we have different sentences. And I have here a couple of examples. Aquí les tengo algunos ejemplos. My mom's name. ¿De quién es el nombre? Good mother. Aha, uh -huh. of my mother, right? My dad's name is. ¿De quién es el nombre? De mi papá. Exactly. My best friend's name is. El nombre de mi mejor amigo. Okay. My best friend's name is. And I am going to change here. So you can say. My neighbor's. Name are. My neighbor's names are. ¿Quién, ¿Qué significa neighbors? ¿Qué significa neighbors? Vecinos. Vecinos. Right? My neighbors' names are. Ok. Give me the answers of those sentences. Respóndanme estas cuatro oraciones con su información. These four sentences. In these ones, you are going to include names, right? My mom's name is, y me poner el nombre de su mamá. My dad's name is, my best friend's name is, my neighbor's names are. Go ahead. Write your answers. Ok, si aquí está su mejor amigo y pone my best friend's name is y ponen el nombre de otro amigo, no se vayan a enojar, es un ejemplo. It's like, yo creí que yo era tu mejor amiga. It's an example. It's just an example. Okay. Don't feel bad. Ok, le voy a pasar lista mientras terminan las oraciones, ok? 
para aprovechar el tiempo. I am going to do it right now. Alma Dalila. I am present. Thank you very much. Sí. Alma Xiomara. Alma Xiomara nunca se me conecta. Al Alba Leticia. Alba Leticia González. Present teacher. Thank you. Antonio José Santos. Here. Cristian Mauricio Rivas. Present. Edwin Steven. Edwin, thank you. Eh, Eric Eduardo Sánchez. Evelyn Janet Sarabia. Present teacher. Thank you. Heidi Yamilet Villegas. Janet Tatiana Galeas. Janet Tatiana no, no, is Malvina. que se me hizo Tati Tati esta pero no, 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 no me le no me le sirve el micrófono solo la veo como esto pero ya, ya la marqué ya, ¿no? veo a Tati José Heriberto Reyes González José Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you. José Oscar Flores Ramírez. Josué David Salvador. Catherine Alejandra Juárez. Catherine Elizabeth Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Lisbeth Solórzano. Present teacher. Thank you. Leticia Magdalena Ortiz. Present teacher. Ilse Marlene. Present teacher. Luz de Jesús. Lucita. Lucita. Present. Thank you. Melvin Josué. Rosa Margarita Mina. Joana Mariela Durán. Present. En Rosa María Amaya Guevara. Tampoco. Ok. Hay un montón de sus compañeros que están inscritos y no se conectan. Si de repente ven alguno y conocen a alguno de los que llaman asistencia, díganle que no falte a clases. Todavía tiene chance de incorporarse. Así que si conocen a alguno de los que siempre llamo y nunca está, díganle. Hey, teacher, Nati te anda buscando. Ok. Good. Teacher Nati te busca. Nati dice que pagues, le vamos a decir. No, ¿cómo? Ajá, porque entonces se multa si se, si se deja el volado a medio. So, but it is, it is a big opportunity, people. Definitely, this is a very big opportunity. Esta es una oportunidad bien grande. Y si ustedes la dejan ir, pues queden, pues sí, dejan. Es una oportunidad muy bonita, muy buena, muy eh, de aprovecharla. O sea. Teacher, una pregunta. Dime. Este, y si la persona nunca ha entrado a conectarse, siempre se multa. Pues, ¿cómo les explicaron a ustedes? Me imagino que sí. Porque este, eh, el curso para ustedes es obviamente gratis. Y la única obligación que tienen es ser constantes. Sí. Tengo una compañera y ella este, nunca ha entrado a clase, ¿verdad? pero ella dice que porque no se, no se inscribió al, a la plataforma, dice que no, que no se multa. Por eso preguntaba, para informarle a ella cómo es. 
sería lo mejor de que se informe, obviamente, directamente con INSA, for, con, con inglés corporativo, para que le puedan dar una mejor respuesta. Porque yo le diría que sí, pero no sé. <risa> Gracias. No, sí, aprovechen, aprovechen de veras. Y si ustedes ya iniciaron este proceso, no lo dejen, no lo dejen a medias. La educación es lo único que nadie les puede arrebatar. Se pueden cambiar de casa, pueden cambiar de novio, de esposo, de lo que sea, pero la educación siempre se va con ustedes. Lo que aprendió y lo que sabe, siempre se lo va a llevar. Así que, ahí les dejo el consejo. Yo ¿Sí? tengo una pregunta. Pregúnteme. Eh, eh, este, al finalizar bueno, el curso, ¿vamos a recibir algún reconocimiento? No sé. ¿Qué? ¿Un diploma? Oh, okay. Un diploma que los acredita como English Speakers. Yeah, for sure. You are going to receive one. Every single time, ¿ok? Cuando ya les caiga que se tienen que inscribir al siguiente módulo, ustedes inscríbanse rapidito para que no dejen perder las oportunidades, ¿ok? So, let's continue here. Let's continue, my dear students. And we're going to work, ¿ok? Give me your sentences. I want to listen to your sentences. Vamos a empezar con Ilse. Vamos, Ilse. My mom, my mom's name is Dora. Okay. My dad's name is Jose. Good. My best friend's name is Sofia. My, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Mm, neighbors. Neighbors, neighbors. My neighbors names are Marlene. Marlene and um, Angel. Marlene and Angel. Very good job. Okay, bien que usted se los puede. Yo no. <laughs> I don't know the names of my neighbors, right? Yo creo que ellos solo escuchan. Oye, la que está dando clase otra vez. Because I am here like yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the last room, right? But I don't know their names. Sorry. Yeah. Yo solo sé que vecino uno, vecino dos. But I don't know their names. Vecinos, si ven este video en YouTube, lo siento. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's continue. Jose Reyes, give me your examples. My mom's name is Anna. My dad's name is Jose. My best friend's name is Arnulfo and Carmen. My next words name are Carlo and Freddy. Good, my neighbor's names, my neighbor's names. Very good job, Jose. Tati, vamos. My mom's name Francisca. My dad's name is Nicolás. My best friend's name is Vicky. My neighbor's name are Lucy and Jose. Very good job, Lucy and Jose. Antonio, vamos. Uh, my mom's name is Marta. My dad's name is Jose. My best friend's name is Alex. My neighbor's name are fam Family Santos. Okay, Familia Santos. Family Santos. Good. Leti Ortiz. My mom's name is Maria. My best friend's name is Miguel. My neighbor's... No, my neighbor's name... <laughs> Are, yeah, okay. my, my, neighbor, my neighbor's names are are Patricia and George. Okay, very good job, Mr. Steven. Se escucha. Sí. Yes. Ah, okay. My mom's name is Stephanie. My dad's name is Ricardo. My best friend's 
name is Jerry. My neighbor's name are Jose and Dalila. Very good job. Jose and Dalila. But Dalila, this Dalila. Samsung and Dalila. <laughs> okay, Dalila, Dalila, presente la neighbor. Ahí vea. Cuando se ve el inter, le pega. Edwin, the internet. <laughs> Catherine, vamos, Catherine Solorzano. Uh, my mom's name is Raquel. My dad's name is Nelson. My best friend name are Fatima and Carlos. My neighbor's name are Roxana and Mayra. Very good job. Very good job. Janet Saraybe. Vamos. My name is Balbina. Mm -hmm. My, my name dad, is my mom. My is Balbina. My uh -huh. name is Gonzalo. My best friend is... Uh -huh. Javier. Okay. My neighbors. My neighbors are... ¿Quiénes son tus vecinos? My neighbors are... Vilma. Vilma and... Solo Vilma. Marta. Vilma y Marta, very good job. Catherine Elizabeth, vamos. My name is Francisca. My dad's name is Luis. My best friend name is Cecilia. My neighbors names are Juan and Elizabeth. Excellent job, Joanna. My mom's name is Marina. My dad, my dad's name is Michael. My best friend's name is Letty. My neighbor's name is R, Carlos, and Julia. Very good job, Luz. Vamos. The microphone, sweetie. I cannot listen. No te escucho. My mom's name is Adela. My dad's name is Jesus. Uh -huh. My best friend's name is Marlene. My, my neighbor's name is Reina and Abigail. Excellent. Christian, vamos. My mom's name is Dora. Uh, my dad's name is Rafael. My best friend's name is Letty. Uh, my neighbor name are Selena and Roxana. Okay, Selena and Roxana. Alma Dalila. Thank you, Christian. Very good job. Okay. My mom, my mom name is Isabel. My dad's name is Roberto. My best friend name is Carla and Heidi. Okay, my best friend's names are. Are porque son dos. Okay. My best friend's name are Carla and Heidi. Uh -huh. My neighbors. Name, are, names. Okay. My neighbors uh, names. My neighbors. Names are uh -huh. Alba um, Rosa. Alba and Rosa. Very good. And Leticia Gonzalez. Vamos. My mom's name is Irma. My dad's name is Marcial. Okay. My best friend's name is um, Christian Christian? and Joanna. Uh -huh. My neighbor names are Lucy and Carmen. Lucy and Carmen, your neighbor's names. Good, very good job. So you see, in this case, we are using the possessive forms, right? And we are using it to express things that belong or that are from a different person, right? My, your, his, and hers. Excellent job. Let's continue here. I am going to keep 
sharing my screen with you. And this is what we were doing, right? Jose, dígame. Eh, hice una corrección en don, eh, con mis amigos. Ajá. Eh, entonces, cuando yo menciono dos amigos, es are. Are, no exactly. Is. Exactly like that, right? When you say, my best friends are Jose and Ilse and Tati and Antonio, and then you can add all the ones that you want. Si son más de uno, you say are. Y ahí lo dice a todo. My best friend is, solo es uno. Okay? So that's good. And thank you for correcting, right? Thank you for correcting it. That's good. Very good job, Jose. Ay, gracias por que lo corrigió. That was so good. Eh, Alma, dime. Teacher, eh, el R, eh, puedo decir Carla, um, Heidi, um, Liliana. Um... Ok, esa es una muy buena pregunta. Good, Dalila. Let me explain. El and... El and lo vas a ocupar antes del último. Ok, si oh. decimos, my best friends are Ilse, José, Tatiana, Dalila, and Steven. Oh. Because if you say, if you say, for example, my best friends are José, and Leticia, and Edwin, and Catherine, and Janet, and Elizabeth, and Joanna. No, right? It's como en español que decimos, tengo que ir al súper. Y al banco, y al mercado, y a no sé dónde. So, and you are like, ajá, pero te termino la lista. ¿verdad? Okay. My best uh, friends are Alma, Catherine, and Christian. Okay. Uh, Before the last one, yes. My favorite fruits are bananas, eh, watermelon, melon, and strawberries. Right. Before the last one. Okay. And that's okay. the way we use. Good question. Very good question. When you say, for example, with the possessive adjectives, with the question, what's my, what's your name, what's her name, what's his name, what's our name? And you can say, this is my name, this is my house, this is your house, this is her house. And you can use it like this, right? For example, let me mark it here, okay? Déjenme marcárselo por aquí. And I am going to go, what's my name? What's your name? What's his name? What's its name? What's our name, right? You can use it like that. Or if you say, this is, y me vas a mostrar algo. And you say, this is my house. This is her house. This is our house. This is. This is my cell phone. This is my mouse. This is my house. Okay, como lo que ustedes me estaban mostrando. This is my pen, right? And you show me an object. And if I say here, I have one example. Veamos este ejemplo que tengo por ahí. Oye, alguien tiene dos por ahí. Ya somos dos. Where is classroom? We can't find it. Si estamos hablando de we. ¿Qué tipo de possessive necesitamos aquí? So, if we say, we can find it. Mine. My. We can find it. Si estamos hablando de we, we can find it. Where is? We can find it. Let's go back here. Okay, puedo volver a la tabla aquí. Where is my? Se escucha. Ya. Yeah. Pero, por ejemplo, si tengo en la respuesta we, no puedo decir my. Mm. Or. Our. Very good, right? Our. Where is our. our classroom? Where is our classroom? Our. We can find it. Right? No lo encontramos. No lo podemos encontrar. Es plural, ¿verdad? We. Exactly, right? Where is our classroom? We can find it, right? Very good. Let's go here. Susan. Pen on the table. Susan. Si yo le estoy diciendo a una segunda persona y le digo, por ejemplo, eh, José, mira, es ese, tu, es ese tu bolsón. Here. Ah, it is. 
your. He's your. Okay. In that case, we say your. Y les explico por qué. Aquí yo le estoy haciendo la pregunta a una segunda persona. And you say, Susan, mm. is that your pen on the table? ¿Es ese tu lapicero en la mesa? Is that your pen on the table? Porque no le estoy preguntando. No es Susan la que está expresando. Es soy yo la que le está preguntando a Susan. Susan, is that your pen on the table? Es como cuando tu mamá encontraba las chancletas en la sala. ¿verdad? Mira, esas chancletas son tuyas. Esas son tus chancletas. And you say like, ajá. Y con esa misma chancleta le da. Is that your pen on the table? Right? Is that your pen on the table? What about the next one? My name is Thomas. Me lo están preguntando a mí. My name is Thomas. What is, what is your name? What is your name? My name is Nandi. If I say, what is your name? Okay, what is your name? My name is my name is Janet. Okay, my name is Janet, you say. My name is Ilse. My name is Luz. My name is Tati. Okay. My name is Leticia. Okay. Those are the forms. And what is best? What is best for this than the practice, right? Que mejor forma de llevarlo a la vida si no lo practicamos, right? There you go. Let me make it small. Okay, practice the sentences. Read it first, right? Read them first. Number one, se lo puede ayudar con la uno. She is from Russia. Es Betlana. She is from Russia. She yeah. is from Russia. Yeah, that is, yeah. Her. Her, Her, right? Okay, si estamos hablando de ella es de Rusia, su nombre, su de ella, right? Her name is Svetlana. Hagan los otros. Le voy a dejar dos, tres, cuatro, cinco y seis. Go ahead, write them on your notebook. Write the next ones on your notebook. Write your sentences. So they have wrong. This way they have wrong. Uh -huh. um... I am Japanese. Soy japonés. Soy japonés. Y los otros dice, papás son de Japón. Let me know when you're finished. We are from Greece.
Okay, let's check. What about number two? Who has number two who can share it with me? Who can share number two? My? Mm -hmm. So give me the complete sentence. I am Japanese. I am, I am Japanese. My parents are from Japan. My parents, my parents, okay? My parents. Parents are from Japan. Then number three. Who has number three? He is in front of China. China, China. China. His family from Vietnam. His family is from Vietnam. Good job. Number four. You. Number four. You are from Italy. Uh -huh. Your name is Mario. Very good. You are from Italy. Your name is Mario. Number five. They are from Greece. From Greece. Greece? From Greece. Greece. Their names are Costa and Kimis. Very good job. And number six. We, we are English. Our parents are from London. Okay, ¿cuál es la pronunciación de esta palabra? Parents. Parents, right? Parents. Parents. Okay. Cada vez que decimos parents, se mueve un diccionario también, así que be careful. Okay, my parents, my parents are from London. Okay, good, very, very good job. So, on the chat, I sent you the exercise that we are going to work on right now. Les envié el ejercicio al chat. Okay, this one. And this one, it's going to be in couples. Okay, lo voy a mandar a trabajar en parejas y lo van a hacer con su pareja. Okay, so in this case, you are going to use possessive adjectives. So you say, what is your name? Name is Carlo. I am from Italy. Nice to meet you, Carlo. I am Aneta. Welcome to English class. Who are our students? And you are going to complete the conversation. Give me a moment to make the couples, okay? Voy a hacer sus parejas, and you are going to go to work with the person that you are going to be, okay? With couples, 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 couples. Very good job. So. Accept my invitation. Tienen la conversación en el chat. Igual ahorita le pueden sacar un screenshot. A esto. Sáquenle un screenshot. There you go. I don't know what it is. If it's right here, right here, or there. Sáquenle un screenshot. There you go. Screenshot time. And accept my invitation to go to the groups. Accept my invitation. We have five minutes to be in the groups. Go ahead. Thank you. Excellent. All of my students are in the meeting rooms and they are going to be working on this conversation. They are going to complete the conversation using pronouns and possessive adjectives. So let's wait for a couple of minutes for them to set up. And we're going to go and visit each group. Let's go. A ver, respondamos. Ok. Perfecto, entonces. Ok, la primera es... What is your name? Uh -huh. 
is eh, la segunda es Huh? What is number two? What's your name? It says number two. It's name is Carlo. I am. I am from Italy. Ah, uh -huh. ¿cuál sería la número dos? Is I am from? No, número dos. You say no. what's your name? Name is Carlo. Ajá, uh -huh. pero qué, qué le falta antes. My. my exactly right le falta my my name is carlos carlos ah. i am from italy okay. i am from italy exactly like that i am going to send you a picture of the chart to your group okay okay so there you have and here we go on the conversation. So you say, what is your name? My name is Carlo. I am from Italy. Nice to meet you, Carlo. I am Aneta. Welcome to this English class. English class. Welcome to... To what? Um... Your? To your, right? To your English yeah. class. To your English class. Bienvenido a tu clase de inglés. Tu sería segunda persona, right? To your English class. Aquí podemos ocupar sujetos como estuvimos haciendo en las oraciones de ayer, en este caso. Cuando decimos, who are... Y estás preguntando por ellos. ¿Cómo lo harías? Who are? Who are? ¿Cómo dirías um, ellos? Who are? They. Who are they? Who they, are they? Their. No, en este caso es sujeto normal. Who It's, are they? They. En, y contestamos they. obviamente. They are. They are. Student. Estoy. Uh -huh. student. They are students. students. Okay, ahí al possessive. What are your names? ¿De quién venimos hablando? Uh, their names. Exactly, their names. right? Okay, Almita. Ah. Sigamos. Okay. Okay, continue. Ya quedan bien encaminadas, así que me voy. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Hablaré mucho de estudiantes. No dice un estudiante, dice, sería, sería este, we are, or, sería, or, ¿en dónde van? Eh, en la, number, en dice, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, en la cinco, en la five, uh -huh. en el, en la, who en la, are, ¿Qué pusieron ah. en la cuatro? Eh, la Ajá, si decimos, who are you? Si te estás refiriendo a alguien, porque en la respuesta dice, are students. Entonces, en este caso, cuando decís, who are, ¿quiénes son? ¿Quiénes son? ¿Quiénes son? Ah. Ellos. Who are? Who are? Who are? Acuérdense que pueden ocupar Sujetos normales y, y posesivos. Who are? ¿Cómo decimos ellos? They. Ajá. So you say, who are they? Who are they? Respondemos igual. And you say, they are students. Students. Ajá. Y ahí volvemos al posesivo. What are names? What are names? Ajá, pero si venimos uh, hablando de they, ¿cuál sería el posesivo que usamos ahí? Eh, they. Ajá, what are their names? What are their names? Uh, 
Okay. Ajá, y ahí volvemos a responder con lo mismo. Okay, so you have to Seis analyze minutes. the sentence. You have to analyze that to make it logical, right? You have to analyze and make it logical for you to understand. But, uh -huh. um, in la tercera, uh, nice to meet you. I am Anity. Welcome to. Hey, no la ¿Cómo okay. Como les dije yo el primer día a todos ustedes. Welcome to. Class. Welcome to my English class. Era para mí la clase. It was for you. No. Welcome your, to your. your English class. Okay. Your. Welcome to your English class. Bienvenidos a su ah. clase de inglés. Welcome to your. No. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, no había visto la otra parte. Ajá. <laughs> exactly. Ah. Detallito. Welcome to your English class. Okay. Okay. Continue. Continue. Ya se quedan okay. encaminados. Sí. Ya. Yeah. Hello. Did you finish? <laughs> Aún no. ¿A dónde van? <laughs> en... Quiero ver. Number what? Um, bye. Number five, uh huh. So you say, what is your name? ¿Qué pusieron en la dos? Uh, my. Uh huh. My name is Carlo. I am from Italy. Nice to meet you, Carlo. I am Aneta. Welcome to your your English class. Who are they? They. The next one. Uh... Si, si decimos una pregunta, who are they? En la respuesta vamos a contestar igual. Ah. Uh... They are students. Exactly, like that. Oh, okay. And then, no brincamos al posesivo. What are? What venimos are, hablando de they. What are? What are? Sus nombres. What are? Mm, si, ¿Cuál es el posesivo de they? The they. Uh, their. Their, right? Edwin, estás aquí. What are their names? Their names. Yes. Okay. okay. El buencito se nos había perdido. Ahí está. What are their names? Okay, continue. Ya quedan encaminados. Gracias. And you say, what are their names? En la respuesta vamos igual. Their names are... Their names are... Ajá. Uh -huh. Good, very good. Continue. Our student. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and teacher. Yeah. No miro a ninguno de los dos. ¿Dónde están? Uh -huh. WhatsApp. Ah, en WhatsApp. Ah, en WhatsApp. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Good, good, good. Está bien. Eh, Ajá. Uh -huh. Bueno. Eh, en el caso de eh, Andy Ford. Number four. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, it you ok si decimos who are es quienes son y si yo te estoy señalando a un grupo de personas por ejemplo who are quienes son ellos ¿Cómo lo harías who are they who are they, they are. ok who, who are, are they? they and then no. they are right? who are they they are students y ahí volvemos uh -huh. al posesivo what are uh -huh. y estamos hablando de they ¿Cuál es? You, you, you. No. ¿Cuál es el they, posesivo they, de they? Their. They, they are. What they are. are their names? Porque ahí sí ya volvemos a la posesión. ¿Cuáles son sus nombres? What are their names? Okay. And you continue, right? Ahí volvemos a responder igual. What are their names? Their names are Pablo and María. Okay. And then you continue. Okay. Sigamos ahí. Ya vuelvo. Ya vuelvo. Ajá. Hello. Sí. Carlo. Carlo. Men. 
and who is the man? Uh -huh. And who is that man? That man. Y Anita say. He's. I sería her. No, no. he is. No, he's. Or. Our, um, very good. He's our English or, teacher. Very good. He's our. Jose Ajá, podemos usar también, ajá, no. si gusta cambiamos entonces. Ajá, ¿qué vamos a cambiar? José y Cristian. Bye, entonces ahí. Ajá. Bye. De ahí yo le preguntaría, how, how old is Pablo? Ah, no, verdad, sería how old is, ¿qué nombre me dijo que iba a colocar? José en Cristian. Ok, how old is José? How old is Jose? <laughs> Le preguntaría yo, ¿verdad? I think. I think he is. Okay, ¿cuáles han puesto el, el principio? Muéstrenme lo que han usado al principio. What's your name? What's your name? Ajá. Uh -huh. Number two, ¿qué pusieron en el nombre? Yo diría. Eh... Tatiana. No. My name, my name is Tatiana. My name is Tatiana. I am, I am from, from El Salvador. I am from El Salvador. Nice to meet you. El Salvador. Okay, nice to meet you, Tatiana, right? Tatiana, Tatiana. I am Janet. Welcome, welcome to... to Tatiana in English club. Okay, welcome to... Ahí sería... Welcome to... Bienvenido a tu clase de inglés. Welcome to... Your, your, your English class. Who are, ¿quiénes son ellos? Who are they? Who are they? Who are they? Aquí es they, nada más they? porque they. estamos usando el sujeto. Who are they? Okay. En la respuesta usamos lo mismo. Who are they? ¿Qué ponemos en la respuesta? Si tenemos que contestar igual. Who are they? They are, sí. they are students. They are Very students. good. What are? Y ahí What usamos are they now? What are their names? They are names. They are names, exactly. Y contestamos igual. What are their names? Their names are Pablo and Maria. Ok, y ahí los otros nombres que pusieron. How old is José? I think he is. I think he is. He is about 30, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Sigamos con los demás, ¿ok? Continue there. Okay. I will finish with okay. the last group. I what is okay. Maria. Did you finish? Eh, solo tenemos una duda. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, la última dice, ajá, uh -huh. que dice, ¿sí se sería un nombre o...? Okay, if I am asking, hey, who, who's that man? Ah, ese es tu teacher de inglés. O ese es nuestro teacher de inglés. Cualquiera de los dos pueden ocupar. Ah, entonces sería, ah, sería Udo. He is. He is. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo decimos nuestro maestro de inglés? Our, right? He is our oh, oh. English teacher. Oh. Our, O U R, O U R, O U U R, O U R. Yeah, you say, uh, uh, your name is John. Ah, no, 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 porque si decimos, él es nuestro oh, maestro yeah. de inglés. Entonces sería his. His name, exactly like that. Oh, his name his is name. John. A ver, díganme cómo han hecho lo demás. Number two, ¿qué pusieron number two? Uh, sería, my name is Carlo. Exactly. Nice to meet you, Carlo. I am Aneta. Welcome to. Uh, ya sería, uh, sería welcome uh, our English class. Welcome to our English class. Very good. ¿Quiénes son ellos? Uh -huh. Who are? Uh, ¿Cómo decimos ellos? Who are? They. Who are they? Y contestamos igual. Uh, you are they. Uh, Who you are, are they? 
Who uh, are they? Y contestamos con lo mismo. They are. They, they are. are students. Y aquí sí volvemos a los posesivos. What are. Suyo de ellos. What are. Do. No, si nos estamos refiriendo a they. ¿Cuál es el posesivo de they? Ajá. What are. ¿Cuál es el posesivo de they? Se los envía el chat. What are the possessive of that? They. They. Uh -huh. Their. They. Their. They. Right? What are their names? Y en la respuesta es lo mismo. What are their names? And you say, their names are Pablo and Maria. How old is Pablo? Ah, yo creo que él tiene 30. I think... I think, la número 8, ¿qué pusieron en la 8? Sería... No. Si sí, se están refiriendo a él, ¿cómo decimos él? Is. I think he is about uh, 30. He is. he is about mm -hmm. 30, right? And where is Maria from? Where is Maria from? Her is from Spain. Ajá, her. Suyo de ella. Ah, her. Uh -huh. Suyo es, suyo es de España. Tendría que ser ella es de España. Her sería suyo es de España. Si tenemos que decir ella es de España. ¿Cómo, de, ¿Cómo decimos ella en inglés? She. 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 So you say, she is from Spain. Porque she. si ocupamos her, en este caso estamos diciendo suyo de ella, ¿verdad? Suyo es de España. No. ¿Ok? She is, ella es de España. ¿Ok? Uh, yes, España. Aquí sí. Pueblo natal es Madrid. She so, is yeah, from oh. Spain. Estamos hablando de she. She is from Spain. Y recalcamos con ella. She is from Spain. Mm -hmm. Her hometown is Madrid. Okay. Her hometown is Madrid. Okay. So let's go back. Let's go back. Okay. Students are coming back in a minute. Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back. Ah, there was a challenge, right? Hoy sí los puse a pensar. 
está todo ahí están así como and this one what is the next one come on yeah but that's good right me gusta me gusta retarle y bastante porque nos quedó pendiente la once oh really come on we're going to do it right now okay me gusta retarles el cerebro that's pretty good right cuando creen que no pueden ahí viene teacher Nati con un ejercicio <laughs> okay so let's start let's start here i am going to share it with you and we're going to do it together right we are going to do the exercise together and i am going to explain little by little the exercise what is your name cuál es tu nombre what is the answer for this one Te estoy preguntando a ti what is your name my my, my name my name exactly so you say my name my name is Carlo. I am from Italy. Nice to meet you, Carlo. I am Nati. Welcome to your, your, your English, English class. class. Okay, you can say your. Okay, welcome to your. O puede decir, va, si ella también era compañera. Welcome to okay. our English class. Las dos opciones eran correctas. Welcome to our English class or welcome to your English class. Si tú te incluyes, welcome to our English class. Bienvenido a nuestra class. Welcome to your English class. Bienvenido a tu class. Okay. Who are... Y estamos preguntando por alguien más, alguien en el salón. Who are... They. 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 Are they. Who are they? En este caso, no es un posesivo. Estamos hablando de una persona, un sujeto. Who are they? Cuando tenemos esto en la pregunta, la respuesta es la misma. Who are they? And you say, they, they, are, are, they are students, student. right? What are they? they exactly, porque aquí estamos they, hablando they, de sus nombres, right? Name. What are their names? They, y en la respuesta será lo mismo. So you say, they, 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 their they, names they, are Pablo and Maria. How old is Pablo? I think... Uh -huh. He is. He is, right? I think he is. He is. Estamos hablando de él, ¿verdad? I think he, he is about. about 30. And where is Maria from? She. She, she, she is. right? Because she you is. are talking. Okay, hablábamos por ahí por un grupo que ellos me decían que aquí iba her. Si le ponemos her is from Spain, ¿qué significa? Su, que es su, su es, no, si decimos her is from Spain, su es, su es, su es, su es, su es de España, su, su es. es de España, no, right, it's not logical, right, she is from Spain, ella es de España, what about the next one, su pueblo her. natal es Madrid, her, 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 home, her hometown, hometown is Madrid. Hometown significa pueblo natal. Her hometown is Madrid. And who is that man? He is our, he is our English teacher. He, his name, his, his name, his name is John, right? His name is John. So that is what you are supposed to have on your answers, okay? Así está su respuesta? No. Yes. Okay, si no, hay que corregir alguna, hay que corregirla, okay? Because we are learning. And I always say, sean curiosos, hallenle la lógica. Si ustedes dicen, por ejemplo, who are they? ¿Quiénes son su ellos o los suyos? No, right? It's not logical. You have to analyze. You have to analyze in the sentences. It's not like, I see, la teacher dijo que de ir. Aquí de ir le voy a poner. No. You have to be critical. You have to analyze. So, I am Aneta and all of you are Carlo. Okay? Todos ustedes son Carlos. Yo soy Aneta. Okay? Pero Carlos tiene que ser Carlo, Carlo, así, Carlo, Carlo. My name is Carlo. I am from Italy. Okay? Carlo. Carlo Machu, Machu Fue. What's your name? 
My name is Carlos. My name My is name Carlos. Is Carlos. I am from Italy. Or... I, am from Italy. I am from Italy. Okay, este hour no iba aquí, ¿verdad? Este era opción. Bórrelo, bórrelo. I am from Italy. Hour. Uh. <laughs> That was good. I am from Italy. Hour. <laughs> nice to meet you, Carlo. I am Aneta. Welcome to your English class. Who are oh, they? Who are they? They are students. What, what are they? What are they? Their, names? Their names are Pablo and Maria. Oh, 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 is Pablo. I think he is about 30. And where is Maria where is, from? Where is Maria from? She is from Spain. Her hometown is Madrid. And, and who is Madrid? No, who's that? Por allá andamos, ya, ya andamos. He is our English teacher. His name is John. Okay. Ahora, todos ustedes son Aneta y yo soy Carlos. What's your name? Okay, Aneta, Aneta. My name is Carlo. I am from Italy. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you Carla. Aneta. I am Aneta. Welcome to the English class. Who are they? They are students. What are their names? They are their names. Their names are Maria. How old is Pablo? I think he's about 30. And where is Maria from? She is from Spain. Her hometown is Madrid. And who's that man? He's, He's our English teacher. English His name is, is John. John. Nice to meet you. Very good. You did a very good job. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. So, I need two volunteers. Okay, yeah, yeah. What I mean, Carlo. Go ahead. I need two volunteers to practice the conversation. Teacher, eh, tengo cierta duda en cómo se pronuncia, eh, digamos, la ocho. ¿La número ocho? Sí, donde está el ocho, ah, digamos. I think he is about 30. I think he is about 30. Cuando decimos, I think he is about 30, es como, por ejemplo, si ustedes no supieran, yo les digo, how old do you think I am? ¿Cuántos años creen que tengo? Y me dice, I think you are about 15. I think you are about 20. Andas más o menos por los 20. Como calcular. Exactly, right? I think you are about 25. Me calculo okay. unos 20. I think you are about right. Ya, ya les dije cuántos años tengo. Así que no I think you are about you say, 50, teacher. Oh, justo en la columna. No. Justo en el dolor de espalda. Justo en lo crujiente. I think you are about right. Yo creo que andas más o menos por tal edad. Okay. Nunca le digas a una mujer, aunque la vea de 40, dígale que tiene 20. I think you are about, oh really, she's going to say, oh, thank you very much. Yeah, toda la autoestima. Volunteers, yeah, I need. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Two volunteers, please. Antonio y quien más? Huh? Antonio and Leticia Ortiz, thank you very much. La vi con ganas de participar. Action. Antonio, you are Carlos and Leticia, you are Aneta. Action. What are his name? My name is Carlos. I am from Italy. Nice to meet you, Carlos. I am Annette. Welcome to your English class. Who are they? They are students. What are their names? Their names are Pablo and Maria. How old is Pablo? 
I think he is our 20. 30, 30. 30. <laughs> And where is Maria from? She is from Spain. Here. Here. Oh, eh, eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Hometown. Hometown is Madrid. Um, who is Carmen? He is our English teacher. His name is John. His name is John. Very good job. Reactions for your friends, people. Mándale una reacción bonita a sus amigos ahí, por favor. Please send a beautiful reaction to your friends. Great job. You did a fantastic job. I need one final volunteer. Necesito una pareja final. One final volunteer. Edwin and Steven, and who else? King was Five, four, three, two, one. All right, Joanna, very good job. Yo si llego a uno, yo lo escojo. Joanna, vamos, Joanna and Steven. Action. Action. What is your name? Carlo, I am from Italy. Nice to meet you, Carlos. I am Anita. Welcome to your English class. Who are they? They are students. What are their names? Their names are Pablo and Maria. How old is Pablo? I think he is about 30. 30, 30. 30, sorry, sorry, 30. And where is Maria from? She is from Spain. Her hometown is Madrid. Who is that man? He's our English teacher. His name is John. Very good job. His name is Job. Excellent, excellent job, my dear students. Reactions for your friends. A beautiful reaction, please. Go ahead. Start for you. There you go. Congratulations. You did a very good job. You see, it is our first week together. How, how long have we been together? It's only one week. Hemos estado juntos una semana. And your English is improving. Your pronunciation is nice. You are speaking in English. You are practicing. That's so fantastic, right? Hemos logrado todo esto en una semana. Imagínense en cuatro. That would be fantastic. Have a wonderful night, my dear students. I am going to see you tomorrow for your next class. Tomorrow, we are going to study countries and nationalities. Okay? Countries and nationalities. Países y nacionalidades. We are going to study that. And we're going to study numbers, okay? Numbers are important. So we're going to study numbers. We're going to study countries and nationalities. And that's going to be tomorrow, okay? Have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Good night. Bye, -bye. Good night. Bye.